Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little minute since I've been on here. So I'm gonna give y'all a real quick update and then I'm gonna get into what I really wanna talk about. I basically am quitting my job. I already gave them some notice and I'm going elsewhere. There's some things going on there that I personally just don't agree with. So I'm just going and that's basically that. <laughs> but what I want to talk about in this video is being an LPN and since being an LPN for these couple of months, is it what I thought it would be? And my answer is no. Being, a, being an LPN is not what I thought it would be. To be honest, I can't even tell you in my head like what I thought I'd be doing as an LPN, but it's definitely not this. I'm sorry if I'm gonna offend some people by saying this, but I'm basically a med tech, a high paid med tech. That's how I see myself. Honestly, the only thing I have over a med tech is I do wound changes, I can give injections, and I can evaluate patients, not assess, because RNs assess and LPNs don't assess, even though they some places say assess, but we, we say evaluate because we can't, you know, do that. But anyway, I just feel like I'm in this little box and I don't like being in this little box. So that's why I personally don't like being an LPN. I've looked into doctor's offices and they don't pay you. The doctor's offices, at least out here, I'm in the state of Florida, in case y'all didn't know, over here, doctor's offices tried to pay me $17 and I was like, damn, like y'all trying to hit me like way low. They were like, for me to even touch $20, I would have to have eight years of experience. I was like, ha, yeah, right. Same thing with the urgent care. Urgent care was trying to pay me $17. Um, something else I wanted to hit on was nursing school. I don't feel like nursing school 100% prepared me to come out here and be like a well-rounded nurse. Let me say why I say that. I feel like the hands-on part, you know, I'm cool with that. You know, I, I got my patients all day. Now, the charting aspect, the paperwork, the phone, the doctors, that's a whole nother ball game. Okay, so let me start off with the charting notes. First of all, with charting, when you do your nursing notes, you can't write the way you talk. So for me, for me, that's kind of hard because if you know me, I basically write, I, I write the same way that I talk to you. So I feel like nursing school should have like put it in me like a little bit harder or put it in us on how to do that maybe hey block off a week and and have you know a week of learning how to do chart notes you know give us a case study and we have to write on this patient we never really did that a lot it wasn't really stressed and I, that's a major part of nursing because you chart everything you do you know so I feel like that should have been stressed way more because I'll be sitting there with my charting notes. I'll be looking at it, you know, rereading it, rereading it. And then like trying to proofread, like it's an essay, a whole bunch of time before I hit that essay button. So that's one thing that I would tell all y'all new nurses is make sure that you're good with your nursing notes before you get out there in the real world if you can. The second thing I feel like nursing school should have did better on is I feel like they could have had some type of like crash course or maybe blog off a little week to where they give you practice on how to deal with these doctors because let me tell you these doctors are straight up just rude there are a few nice ones that are like sprinkled in between but they are like sprinkled like like barely sprinkled in there let me tell you and not everybody's built the same like some people they don't have thick skin so you know like I feel like that's something you got to build up to and I feel like nursing school could have did that I don't know like my school we had the little mock interviews like little fake interviews so when we went out and to do the real interviews kind of we had an idea they could have did that with dealing with these doctors and these phone calls because let me tell you I have learned that Doctors just don't like to be bothered. They don't like you calling them. At least this is what I experienced. I'm only talking from my perspective. Nobody else's. They don't like people calling them. And then when you do call them, they want you to get straight to the point. They don't want to hear no fluff in between. For example, if Joe fell in the bathroom and hurt his hip, you know, and you, you want an x-ray, they don't want to hear all of that fluff. All they want to hear is that, Joe fell, can I get an x-ray for his hip? And then, you know, they like, okay, blah, 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 bam. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even, 
conversations don't really last that long. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. But it's just, I feel like we just need something to kind of prepare us for like that type of rudeness. Because, I don't know, I'm just, that's just my personal opinion. Someone else might feel differently. But I feel like that would have been nice if we were kind of prepared. Maybe the way to prepare it could have been like the instructor could have had a case study and then I could have had a case study and you know I could have pretend to call like ring ring and then be like hey you know Mary is blah 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 and then they would have asked um and then she would have asked me something like their lab values or just different little questions that you know that a doctor would ask you and you should have prepared and ready and then kind of just go off of that to kind of just kind of you know what I mean get the little get your little, you know, I guess confidence up or get your little, you know, mojo swinging. I don't even know what you want to call it, but that's what I feel like they could have did, you know, but cause they'd be doing the little mock interviews. So when you go out into the world, you ready for an, an interview. So you could do the same thing with doctors. That's my opinion. But basically how I feel nursing is not what I expected to be a hundred percent real with y'all I don't see myself working uh, as a bedside nurse ever or like well not ever I'm doing it now but I don't see myself working as a bedside nurse as a career because I don't know I just don't like it I don't know if I'm burnt out over it because I've been a CNA for like mad years I don't know but I just don't see myself working at a bedside that's not my calling so I'm probably gonna go way left who knows and I don't want to be no management neither because I don't want people calling me out my bed oh we short at 11 o'clock at night that I gotta come work or oh this person called no I don't I don't want them problems you know so I'm gonna have to find a little nice little niche where I can be because as y'all know nursing is you know a big umbrella and there's a lot of things that we can do as a nurse but you have to hit that level of RN is what I'm seeing which I've been new but you know that's basically it for this video. I didn't want to make it too long. So if you have any other questions, you can drop them in the comments below. I always answer y'all. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.